name's DJ. My name is Winnie. And this van is called Barbara, and it's a 1980s water cooled van. <laughs> Barbara the van again, named after my mom and my grandma. Um, when I got her, she was just all this color brown, just very like stock van again. So basically, first thing I ever added to it was this caution tape um, from Northwest Mogfest, which is a cool like off-roading van again camp out on this farm. People go in this giant mud pit and like go through a mud pit in their van again, which is super cool. So. Added this, added some other stickers, you know, added this badge. This is Overland Bound. It's like a, uh, it's like a group for veterans. Got solar panels up there. They're both uh, 100 watt solar panels and those connect into a big, huge battery underneath the seat. And that's kind of how we power our fridge and our lights and all that stuff. We got the tent, which is super cool. You can sit up there or sleep up there and see the stars out of there. And we got these stickers, which I started in Wisconsin, where I used to live. Moved to Arizona, got the van there, and then moved all the way between, and then got to Oregon. So that's what that is about. Got all these stickers from friends that we've met on the road. So these are all from like different friends that we've met. So like, you know, I could go through all these, but this is from Descend on Bend, which is Poseidon's beard. Our friends Camp Trend. Fanverse Wild, Pop of Adventures, like all of these are good friends of ours that we have met on the road. Yeah, we added this bumper, which has this cool swing away system. So, pretty cool. This whole thing will swing out. It's pretty damn messy, but it's got like my <laughs> emergency pack in here, it's, like medical stuff, in case we see like an accident on the road. It's got like tools, it's got some coolant and things like that. The top, we got two extra gas containers full of gas and we have one full of water. Uh, this is my trash bag. It's kind of falling apart, Ugh. but we just put all of our trash in there and it's got drainage and it's kind of waterproof. We got our flag full, so when we're out camping and we want to find our friends, we lift this up and put a flag there so they can find us. Out of everything. <laughs> yeah, so we got our roof box where we store climbing stuff, skiing stuff, diving stuff, um, any like miscellaneous outdoor adventure stuff. So we've got this ladder, which is probably the most useful thing I have on my van, so we can get up to the roof box and stuff. Damon made these stickers, State of Vanagon, for like Oregon Vanagon Club. Um, I started this group, Portland Vanagons. It's all these people around Portland that have Vanagons, 450 people now and like he's one of the original people in there. So he makes all these Vanagon related art artistic things and he does like van drawings of people's vans, it's really cool. We have a two inch lift, um, which is bigger springs and it lifts you up higher off the ground, gives you more clearance. And then we have these off-roading tires that we put on here. We have a heater, gas powered heater. So it's powered off the battery from the solar and then it takes gas from our gas tank down there, pumps it in here, and it pumps out really good heat. We have this here, this seat back that our friend makes. Um, he's in South America right now making these, and they're all leather. It's called Quetzal. Um, we got our fridge, which is powered off just the solar and this battery here. We have a lot of random <laughs> meals. Like we'll go eat somewhere, get like leftovers, and just make a big scramble. Like whatever. it makes you get creative. Here, cook it. Our kitchen. Sink. And then we just keep our pots and pans in the other drawer. My grandpa gifted him this hand beaded hat. <laughs> it's my favorite place to sleep. I'll show you how the bed folds out. So you pull this lever. 
Pull out the memory foam mattress. That's it. <laughs> so here we got a storage. There's miscellaneous, there's chips and food down there. Um, here we have all of our cooking supplies, spatulas, we've got a coffee maker, we've got uh, Tupperware in there. Um, my mom made me this pillow. <laughs> it's like the saying that I always have on the back of my van. And it's like a little picture that I took next to the ocean, which is cool. But she made this from the leftover material from the headrest and the armrest. Made this with my grandma when I was in third grade. More food in here. This is our miscellaneous everything closet, mostly like warm clothes and right festival now. things. We have costumes in there. Got all these masks, kimonos, you know, necessities. So usually we sleep with our heads here and we get to wake up and like look at all these awesome pictures, which is cool. Got clothes up here. So these are like our daily clothes that we wear. So I got like pants, shirts, and then she uses this side usually. This is just a piece of wood that my grandma sent me because we were having a conversation about how lucky we are to be alive and how great life is. And she sent me this wood because she was talking about knock on wood for being so like lucky to have the lives we have. I keep it here just to like, you know, remember that. This cool console is like a lockable console. It's where I keep all the valuables and like documents and stuff when I'm traveling, um, any electronics and stuff because it's solid steel and lockable. So when we go to the trailhead or something, we can keep our stuff safe in here. My grandma helped me make these armrests um, with some cool fabric here and this headrests here. Got some mushrooms we gathered, some oyster mushrooms. Some glass from down in California at Glass Beach. Um, some little rodent. Uh, we've collected a lot of bones, so it's a lot of elk bones and sheds and stuff. And oh yeah, we went uh, abalone diving in May and got a ton of abalone abalone shells there. So we have a ton up in the roof box too. <laughs> got this one for my friend Anthony's wedding but it's full of beach glass that we got when we were in Mendocino area mm -hmm. there's like a place called glass beach but it's just full of like awesome beach glass my grandpa gave this to me and told me to hold on to it till I felt ready to give it to someone of great importance in my life so I gifted it to him this vehicle just like attracts I don't know positivity I feel like so Thanks to our sponsor, Go Westy. They helped me rebuild my engine in time to make it to Standing Rock and um, really helped me out with the cost of parts to rebuild. Um, yeah, they just like really support our sort of efforts. They helped me get this transmission in in three days so I could get down to Descend on Bend, which is awesome. Um, yeah, they're just super supportive, so thanks to them for sure. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to follow our adventures, you can follow Wild Bear Medicine on Instagram.